sending you blessings and encouragement for a wonderful morning. May your day be filled with positivity and success in all your endeavors. May the warmth of the sun fill your heart with love, and any challenges that arise quickly fade away. Wishing you a morning and an entire day filled with blessings. In a recent incident that has captured attention in both Mexico and Colombia, a clergyman experienced a moment of distress during a religious mass. The priest in question reportedly fainted immediately after receiving a profound message from Our Lady concerning the state of the world in the year 2024. This unexpected occurrence has sparked intrigue and concern, prompting discussions within the community about the nature of the message and the well-being of the priest. As the news unfolds, it raises questions about the significance of the message and its potential impact on both the clergyman and the congregation. To ensure that as many people as possible see this video, kindly take a moment to share this video and subscribe to this channel. May this message touch your heart and help to bring you close to the conversation of souls and the conversion of sinners. If you believe so, please type Amen. As we embark upon the canvas of a new day, it is believed that a heartfelt breath of prayer in the morning serves as a harbinger of blessings, ensuring a day filled with divine favor. Similarly, as the sun sets and the day draws to a close, a thoughtful breath of prayer in the evening signifies a night of rest and security, Holy Spirit, Divine Counselor, and Source of all wisdom, I invite your presence into my heart and mind. Enlighten my understanding, that I may discern your will in all things. Grant me clarity and insight as I navigate the challenges and decisions of life. O oh my God, Thou knowest my great poverty and misery, and that of myself I can do nothing, Thou knowest how unworthy I am of this infinite favor, and Thou alone canst make me worthy. Since Thou art so good as to invite me thus to Thyself, add this one bounty more to all the rest to prepare me for Thyself. Never let me be guilty of thy body and blood by an unworthy communion. For the sake of this same precious blood, which thou hast shed for me, deliver me, O Jesus, from so great an evil. Amen. In a recent and unexpected incident during a religious mass in both Mexico and Colombia, a clergyman experienced a moment of profound impact that led to him fainting. This dramatic occurrence unfolded immediately after the priest received a significant message from Our Lady, offering insights and revelations regarding the state of the world in the upcoming year of 2024. The incident has ignited widespread curiosity and concern within the communities, prompting discussions and reflections on the nature of the message and its implications. As the news continues to circulate, it raises intriguing questions about the connection between the clergyman's reaction and the contents of the message, creating a ripple effect of speculation and contemplation among the congregations in both regions. During a live broadcast of the Mass at the parish of Our Lady of Guadalupe in Acapulco, Mexico, Father Angel Cuevas unexpectedly fainted. The incident occurred as the priest while inviting the congregation to participate in the rite of peace, displayed signs of discouragement and weakness in his voice. Overwhelmed, Father Cuevas became dizzy and collapsed, prompting the concerned faithful in the temple to rush to his aid, supporting him and ensuring his safety. Amid this crisis, a voice was heard offering a prayer, seeking divine assistance and invoking peace in the name of Lord Jesus Christ and the Sixteen Apostles. Contrary to recent false claims circulating on social networks alleging the priest's demise due to the coronavirus vaccine, Father Cuevas expressed gratitude for the support received. In a statement, he extended his appreciation to Archbishop Don Leopoldo González González, who promptly inquired about his health, as well as to fellow priests, doctors, and parishioners who offered unwavering support. Father Cuevas assured everyone of his well-being, 
confirming his compliance with medical advice to take a brief absence for recuperation, during which Father Harvey will assume his responsibilities. The incident, he suggested, serves as an opportunity to reflect on life's challenges and the importance of self-care. Expressing gratitude for the outpouring of prayers and concern, Father Cuevas concluded with blessings and the hope for a swift return to regular duties. The community is urged to join in prayer for the complete recovery of God's Father. Now, the message will be shared with all of you, beloved children of my Immaculate Heart, I appeal to you all to pray, as each person is a knower of what T.O. ask and what T.O. give. The days are growing shorter, my true children are growing fewer in number, beloved people of my Son. Man believes that he is God and that he has control over man to bring about his destruction. People will commit extremely serious sins. Youngsters, you are aware of a great deal that has already happened to humanity, yet you do not alter it. Children, despite all that has been shown to you, not to scare you, but to help you prepare spiritually, you refuse to change. Be careful this December, a strong earthquake will come this month and seventy countries will be destroyed. They give in to the devil with such passivity that they are unable to interpret events that occur along the course of the plans this mother has foretold. The church of my son is dwindling, and the only people who can predict the future will be aware of what is happening at every turn. I love you, I bless you and protect you. Matthew 24 verse 7 Nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines and earthquakes in various places. This verse is part of Jesus' discourse on the Mount of Olives, often referred to as the Olivet Discourse, where he discusses the signs that will precede his second coming and the end of the age. Earthquakes are mentioned as one of the signs that will occur in various places, indicating a period of upheaval and change. A dramatic and unexpected incident during a live broadcast of a Mass at the parish of Our Lady of Guadalupe in Acapulco, Mexico. Father Unhel Cuevas's sudden fainting spell, particularly during the invitation to the Congregation for the Rite of Peace, adds a layer of emotional intensity to the scene. The response of the concerned faithful rushing to his aid creates a vivid image of a community coming together in a moment of crisis. Now, let's join and pray. O Mary Immaculate Queen, Glorious Queen of the Universe, Most Powerful Virgin, Merciful Mother of a Merciful God and Refuge of Sinners, we consecrate ourselves to Thy Royal and Immaculate Heart. It is through Thee that Jesus Christ our King has come into the world to save it. Thank you for watching till the end of our video. Our brothers and sisters, without fear and with more faith than in the past, let us continue in faith. Stay blessed and continue to pray for God to show all of us His graces and blessings. God bless us and protect us. Amen.